Good morning guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I am sitting here doing my makeup right now. It is Monday and I didn't go to the gym this morning. I had to listen to my body this morning. I woke up with a massive headache and I got up and I was gonna force myself to go and then I was like, this is not gonna be a productive workout at all. I'm probably just gonna end up turning around and coming home because it was hurting so bad. So I'm going to try to move my body later, but I decided to just get some extra sleep, which is obviously what I needed because I woke up and I felt better and I didn't have that massive headache anymore. So sometimes you just got to listen to your body. This is the strangest packaging ever. This is that like Huda Beauty um, setting powder. It's like really strange. I kind of like it though, but it's very, very strange. Like the way you put it back, you have to like line it up and then you like lock it in. It's strange. Anyways, I hope you guys are all doing good. I haven't vlogged in a little bit. I've been so, so busy with all of the coaching and consulting stuff that I've been working on. And it's been a lot of fun and keeping me super busy, but I also really miss making YouTube videos, so I'm excited to be back to doing this as well. Finished with the makeup and my hair has this like really slight little wave to it because I put my hair in braids last night. I actually got my hair redone last week, but I wasn't vlogging. And I don't even know if you guys can tell, it's very subtle, but I did get some highlights. They're super, super minimal, more like a balayage style highlight. So it's dimensional, it's more obvious when it's curled, but I did do that and I also darkened my roots again. But because I braided it last night, it's not a complete mess right now. It's just got like a little wave to it. So I'm just gonna leave it, use some of this Living Proof Dry Shampoo. This is the perfect hair day one. They actually sent this to me and I'm such a Living Proof fan. I like buy their stuff all the time and it is pretty pricey, but it's always worth it because it's truly the best dry shampoo and you only need a little bit and it gives your hair volume again. I will link that in the description. Thank you to Living Proof for sending it to me. Sitting at my desk now, if you guys noticed that a few of my nails were missing, uh, that's because they were. And I just took the rest of them off and I'm hoping I have enough time really quick to do them again. The Gel X is so fast, so I feel like I do have enough time. Um, but today is a really exciting day because I'm actually going to meet Addie today to film a YouTube video. You guys may or may not remember, but a while back when I was working at the marketing company, I had the opportunity to meet this girl named Addie who actually just came here from Cuba. And she kind of like shared her story with me about how she got here and the process of like escaping Cuba to come to America. And she's told me so much about how different it is over there. And it really puts things into perspective for me living in America and all the things that we kind of tend to take for granted. Um, it's just crazy like her story and I really wanted to help her and share her story and I've been working one-on-one -on -one with her as part of my consulting business and just helping her like get her presence out there on social media she's starting to build her platform so obviously I will leave her info below but I'm really excited because I'm helping her film a video today where I'm basically going to be interviewing her and we're going to be talking about the differences between like Cuba and America to kind of like share what that looks like because you would be so shocked. I feel very ignorant on the subject because I just didn't quite realize how bad it is in some parts over there and I don't like to be ignorant so it was really eye-opening for me. It makes me grateful for all of the things that I have here and having the opportunity to get to know her has been really good for me and I want to help share her story so the video is going to go up on my channel as well and we're going to be working on that today so I'm pretty excited. I'm with Addie now. We just got Starbucks really quick. We both just got brown sugar shaken espressos and as we were walking up there, I was like, oh yeah, what do you like to get from Starbucks? And um, I guess Addie's only been to Starbucks like a couple of times, yeah. right? Because um, they don't have that in uh, Cuba. So I'm an idiot, I did not realize that. <laughs> um, so I'm just like learning so much right now, but it's it's eye-opening. So this is beautiful Addie, I'm so hey. excited. Make sure you go subscribe to her channel. I'm gonna link it in the description and then obviously you guys will see the video that I talked about. I'm back home eating some pizza leftover from Chad. He had pizza while I was going in Tampa and this pizza is so freaking good. Like even the leftovers reheated is so good. But I had so much fun filming that video and I can't wait for you guys to see it. Honestly, it's just so eye-opening getting to talk to someone who lived somewhere that is just so different. It just really makes me grateful. I don't like when you watch me. You can watch me on YouTube, but you can't watch me in real life vlogging. No, 
I literally like cannot vlog with Chad watching me. I'm like, please stop looking at me. Anyways, I'm opening up a sparkling juice and Izzy. I've not had these in so long, but way back in the day, I used to work at Starbucks and we used to sell those at Starbucks. I don't think they do anymore. I've never seen those anymore there, but we used to sell them back in the day at Starbucks and they used to be one of my favorite little drinks. I always feel like when I'm vlogging, we make this meal. It's weird. Like I'm, but we don't make it that much. It just seems like, maybe it's just me. I feel like we're always making this. We're having turkey lettuce wraps, some rice, lettuce, the turkey with a sesame sauce, right? It's got sesame sauce and sesame seeds. Yeah, and we add sesame seeds to it. And then we also add walnuts on top. It's so good. Is it just I mean who likes it though <laughs> no one enjoys it um, yeah I really desperately need a coffee but I don't think we have time to stop for a coffee so hopefully afterwards we can stop and get a coffee because I didn't have any coffee yet this morning your girl needs some coffee I'm like falling asleep I am back home now we had our appointment with the CPA and of course my taxes are always more complicated than Chad's um, because my income comes from so many different sources, so there's just a lot more to it than when you just work one job and all your income comes from the same place. Like, obviously that's easier than being self-employed in terms of taxes, but I would still take it any day over working for someone else because obviously I love working for myself and it comes with so many benefits, but tax season gets complicated. So I have a lot of homework to do for taxes, but first I have a one-on-one -on -one meeting with one of my social mastery clients. So I am just preparing for that right now, pulling up all of her social media. And then I recently created this, um, actually let me pull up the template and I'll show you guys. So I created this Google Sheet so that I can track my client social media performance over the course of the 12 week program. It's really, really helpful to see what's performing well and like what's not. So this is what we're doing for one of my clients. Obviously this is the blank one because I don't want to share her information. But yeah, this is super helpful. And if you're trying to grow on social media, I definitely suggest tracking your performance on things because that's how you find out what's working and what's not. later and I just got to Starbucks big surprise I swear I'm always at Starbucks but um I have to run a couple of errands something very exciting is happening this weekend my sister is getting engaged she obviously does not know this yet I've definitely introduced Jennifer on the vlog before but you may or may not remember but they paid for one of those picnic companies in Tampa to like come out and set up this really beautiful picnic and that's where she's going to get proposed to but she thinks that she's going to be just taking photos with me for sun styled um because I still have some inventory that's not listed on the site so you know it was like perfect segue for me to kind of make sure that she like looks really good and isn't suspicious about anything, has her like nails done and everything, and she's gonna think she's modeling, so I'm gonna have my camera and everything. Um, and then we're basically gonna walk up because it's like right by the water and it's a beautiful location to take photos, but obviously also for a proposal. So I'm so excited. I've also been like really paranoid this week and it's not even me doing it. It's just like, I just wanna make sure that it's a surprise for her because when I got engaged, Chad did such a good job of pulling it off that I had no idea it was happening and I was so grateful for that so I want her to have the same experience obviously and it to be you know a complete surprise but the whole purpose of me telling you guys this was that I'm running some errands I actually want to grab them a proposal gift I got this really cute card for them they've literally been dating for longer than Chad and I have been together and we've been together for over eight years so 
they've been together for like 10, I think. Um, so it's a long time coming. I want to get them a little celebratory gift. Um, but I'm going to run in Starbucks first and grab a coffee. I ran into Sephora really quick and grabbed a pickup order. Um, I'll show you guys what I got. But really quick, weirdest thing. You know how Ulta always does, um, like, I mean, I don't know how often every year they do it. But, like, they always do, like, the days of beauty steals or something like that. And, like, they'll have different items on sale. I think the 21 days of beauty. I think that's what it's called. But I'm trying to load my app and show you guys. Because I just discovered the strangest thing. It's kind of weird. So, yes, it's the 21 days of beauty. And they do 50% off different items. And it changes every single day what the item is. So, you just have that day to get the deal, right? That's something Ulta has always done. Um, I don't have a preference one way or the other when it comes to, like, Sephora or Ulta. I honestly shop at both because some brands are only at Sephora and then other ones are only at Ulta. Strangest thing was that I went on both of the apps because Sephora unfortunately is further away. I wanted to see if Ulta had what I needed and they didn't. But because I went on both apps, I saw this, right? So 50% off, see the two products. Nothing I was interested in, but I was like, okay, cool. They didn't have what I needed, so I got off the app. I went on Sephora app to place the order. Literally what? 50% off, the same products, and they have like the same colors. And this isn't something Sephora normally does, so I feel like they're trying to like compete with them. And I know that like it could be based on these products, you know, like these specific products. It could be coming from like the manufacturer, the reason that they're doing this discount on the Too Faced and the Peter Thomas Roth. But it's also kind of weird because, like I said, for Ulta, it's 21 days of this. What are the odds that the exact same day they're doing 50% off? So I feel like they're trying to compete with Ulta. Anyway, this is so irrelevant. I'm gonna go in there. Okay, I'm back home. I found these really cute little reusable bags that say bride. So I got them each one of these. And then I got them this cute candle that says love and it smells so good. And then two little books that say her vows and it says her vows on both, super cute. But that was supposed to come in the mail and didn't. So I'm gonna have to wait to give them that. But now I'll show you guys what I got from Sephora. I've heard a lot about this Tarte Maracuja juicy like lip plump stuff. So I got one of these. And then I wanted to try out this foundation. I've never tried it, even though it's been around forever. It's a really popular one, the Giorgio Armani luminous silk foundation i'm literally holding it upside down but i got the smaller size even though it's still like 40 dollars. but i had a gift card so that helped a little bit and i really want to try it um another setting powder the little mini one and then last but not least my absolute favorite mascara it's the rare beauty perfect strokes one this mascara compares to nothing else i swear if you haven't tried it you should here is our dinner tonight we are having roast and it has roast obviously <laughs> potatoes <laughs> and carrots, celery, and I don't know what else, but it's a recipe Chad's mom gave us. And it's, it's the next day and I'm actually gonna end this vlog here because I've already started a new vlog. I have two more videos coming up, so sorry that by the time you guys see this, it's gonna have been so long since I have posted a video, but I have two more coming very soon. So I'm trying to get back on schedule with posting again. I miss you guys so much and thank you for watching this video. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to click that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video.